Today was a solemn day in Southern Maine as nearly 800 people gathered to celebrate Jim Pearson's life. Pearson died last month after he was randomly and brutally attacked in his front yard in Scarborough. We covered the story in December. You might remember from our coverage this attack was part of a larger crime spree that spread across multiple counties. Today, people in Scarborough said while this is a difficult time, seeing the outpouring of support is heartwarming. Newster Maine's Roslyn Flaherty reports. You all remember him from his red coat and Christmas trees. Jim Pearson's green hat and red coat hang as hundreds gathered to celebrate his life. It's going to be a great loss for the community. It really is. The 82 year old was stabbed to death outside his Scarborough home last month. Obviously, this was a terrible event and it, and it really uh, tore at people. Despite the tragedy, people showed support for the family, crying and laughing together. He always told me, hey, listen, I don't care if you know what's right. I don't care if you know what someone else, what mom is telling you is wrong. If your mother says the sky is purple, the sky is purple. <laughs> the end. No discussion to be had there. Your mom is always right. There is no debate. There is no discussion. Your mom is always right. Pearson owned Beach Ridge Farm where he sold Christmas trees. His friends say he was a staple in the community and was quick witted. Kind of a jokester, you know, you had to kind of read the read between the lines when he said something, I guess, you know, he was he was a good guy. Had a big heart. Um, sometimes might not want you to know that, that he uh, he was the kind of guy that could fix anything, could uh, could build anything, make anything. Although many say they are still shocked and heartbroken about what happened, they say everyone rallying together brings a little comfort during this difficult time. In Scarborough, Roslyn Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Pearson leaves behind a wife, a son, and a daughter.